I'm Anne Evans. Well, and I'm Keith Evans. We uh, are both the uh, founder patrons of the organisation of WAGAM. Very proud of everything that's been achieved uh, and all the progress that is made. You don't choose to become addicted. Uh, it, it happens and it's uh, so quickly out of your control. It was through those horrible experiences that uh, I became more and more thinking, we, we, we've got to stop this. <laughs> we've got to do something about this. YGAM are launching our new strategy, which sets out our vision and our plans for 2023 and beyond. We've been so fortunate to have a continued relationship with Anne and Keith Evans. Without them, this charity wouldn't have been established and it certainly wouldn't have the weight and the impact that it continues to have today. I feel really fortunate to be leading an organisation that was founded by such inspirational people. And that lived experience is something that we ensure is through the, the core of everything that we do here. The lived experience is key. It's at the heart of all the work we do here at YGAM from employing members of staff with lived experience to having people with lived experience look over our educational resources as well. Ever since the charity was founded, that lived experience has gone through the years, um, from 2014 to today when we stood here. As someone who's suffered from the, the harms of gambling, it's uh, a huge passion of mine to dedicate my, my career. We know that children and young people are disproportionately impacted by gaming and gambling harms and that's why it's so important that we do the work that we do to ensure that anybody who can influence a young person's life has the knowledge and the skills to enable them to be resilient to the risks that gaming and gambling can pose. Education is key to unlocking students' potential. It's a way of protecting them, it's a way of informing them. At YGAM, our vision is that every child and young person is resilient to and safeguarded against gaming and gambling harms. Our mission is preventing children and young people from experiencing gaming and gambling harms through awareness raising, education and research. Awareness raising is an essential part of prevention work to ensure that people know that gaming and gambling harms do exist the activities are risky and there are ways to prevent harms occurring but awareness raising on its own isn't sufficient. We need to equip children and young people with the knowledge and skills to change their behaviour and we can only do this effectively through teachers and youth workers and parents coming together with a shared message about the risks that can be involved. YGAM's new strategy has got six core pillars at its heart. Our three strategic pillars are to improve reach and impact, to occupy the space of thought leadership, research and innovation, and to be equipped to support children and young people through navigating their digital futures. To achieve this, we need really solid and robust business functions. So our enabling pillars ensure that every member of the YGAM team sees it as a great place to work that we have a stream of diverse and sustainable funding and that we deliver operational excellence through all that we do. <music> 2023 brings a renewed focus on impact for YGAM. We know that we have a reach into communities, we know that our resources are well received and we know that they enable people to have conversations with young people that support prevention in gaming and gambling harms. But what does that actually mean for children and young people? We have a focus on ensuring that we can demonstrate the impact of the work that we do. And we know what a teacher, for example, will take away from a lesson plan, what conversations they'll then have with a child, and what change that can make to their future. We'll always be transparent, and we will always share the outcomes of any research and evaluation. We've spent the last 12 months working with our staff, listening to them to really understand what their values are and how they're reflected in the charity and the work that we do. And now we find ourselves with a set of values that truly reflect YGAM and the work that we're doing. I'm really looking forward to delivering the new strategy, uh, helping to 
improve the reach and the impact. Just working with more schools and helping teachers and educators uh, to be uh, informed and educated and to be able to safeguard our young people that are so important to us. The strategy presents a really exciting stage for us as a charity. It enables us to continue to lead the conversations around gambling and gaming harm prevention. Completely excited about the new launch. Um, it's only going to make YGAM grow. I think it's not just looking nationally, it's, it's making sure every single person, every young person, every vulnerable person is safeguarded and that's what we want to do. So I'm really excited about the strategy. It's actually a year ago today that I joined YGAM and I've been so impressed by the team's dedication, passion and talent and the continued effort and enthusiasm that's put into every day's work at YGAM. So I just want to say a huge thank you to the team for all that they've done in preparing this new strategy. And I hope that it resonates with everybody here today. And I look forward to working with you and with the YGAM team to deliver against this strategy in the coming years. We've just put our heart and soul into it. Mm. And we've got enormous satisfaction. Extremely proud. Yes, very proud. Yes, we feel that uh, it's made a big impression on everybody that we've reached out to.